Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I've used pink because this is a Card Pal card. This is for the month of October and the colour is pink. I've already received one pink card from Moira. I got it yesterday. Let me get it so I can show you it. This is the card I received from Moira. Nice and early, I must say. So I thought, oh, I better get making mine. So, this is what I've come up with today. I did try and add this onto a pink card base, but it was just too pink. It didn't look right. So, I've done this. And the only bit of pink is the um, baker's twine and the cardstock. So to make this card I've used the Forever Ferns. I've used that stamp. These are all cut out already. That stamp and the rest is all dies. But I've also got to use to a friend that makes me smile sentiment. I've got to do that. And the gold circle I've used from Painted Poppies and I've used this which is already cut out because it won't go in my sidekick so I had to do it on the big shot which is here and the leaves are all here I've got bits of leaves I've got cut apart to um, put on and I've got some baker's twine, linen baker's twine, and some uh, blushing bride. This is old, this one. Baker's twine, which I'm going to use for the knot, a uh, bow. But first, we need to do our sentiment. I've got some scrap. Oh, you want the cardstock, don't we? I've got a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half and burnished. I have a piece of gold cardstock oh, at uh, three and a quarter by five and seven eighths, no, three and one eighth by five and seven eighths. And I have a piece of blushing bride at three inches by five and seven eighths. I also need a piece of white cardstock to go in the inside, and this is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, which will go in there. I might as well put that in now. This card could be used like to write. A note to a friend. You just want to cheer a friend up and send him a note. Which you could do. Right, and we're going to stick this. Oh, by the way, I embossed this in the leaf. Stamping up leaf one. I don't know what it was called. The embossing folder. We want plenty of glue on this. To get it to stick. I'm putting the glue on the raised bit of the embossed. Let's put that on there with a margin each side. And then we need to trim that I'll put that on now. Thank you. 
And then we're going to trim off that little tiny bit of gold. Sticking down. Right. Now we will do the stamping of our sentiment. I've got some Versafine Onyx Black Ink and my stamp. Stamp that there, like that. Cover up that so it don't dry out got bead thing I keep forgetting to put in there right I am going to use the one two three four uh, plain nesting circle nesting dies to cut that out a bit make sure it's in the middle it is put a bit of glue on it glue tape on it I need to try and get myself some more plates for this. Well used. Quite pleased I got this. Because when you want to cut just little dies like this, very handy. Right, put this back. I have got an extra circle and believe it or not it is the same size as that one now I don't know where this come from it is a stamping up die Sizzix die let's see if it's the same size oh no it's smaller Five one four one seven oh five. It's from a different batch. Hmm. Right then. So that one belongs to this set. Put that in there. I need to find out where what set that comes from. Different number. Alright. Bring this back in. And this is going to get glued on there. So we're going to glue that on there. And then that will get glued on here. Oh, I just want to make sure I've got it in the right height. Now with our leaves, I've cut out, oh, I might as well show you what I've cut out, obviously all the leaves I need, and I cut out the two big ones, 
which are this one and this one all from the forever greenery set and then I just cut off I separated them all I need and then I did the same with the brown one so I've cut these out now this one is smoky slate and the other one was pretty peacock and I've also got pear pizzazz So I've just chopped them all up and what I'm going to do is place two smoky slate ones up there put them the right way so I'll just glue these down I only cut these out when I cut the others out and didn't use them and I knew I had enough then for another card so I thought I'd save them for that right then I cut use these ones and I place them over the top of the brown soft suede these blue ones just blue ones pretty peacock ones sat either side of them try not to cover the words don't need that one so a mess until you get the final bits on and then of course your laurel and that goes like that like an autumn card I'm going to add these tiny brown ones. Just put them in there. And then with my baker's twine, we make a bow. Don't want it too big. big enough so I'll 
put that down for a little while. All right, I'll get some gold gems. Got everything's landing on the floor today. It's just dropped. The pearls. I've got my scissors the other side. There they are. All picked up. Alright. I'm going to put some glue down. So I'm going to put one there. One there, I'm adding five. One there. One there and one in the middle there. And there we have my second Carl Powell card. I hope they like it. One for Sam and one for Moira. Now if you like this card and you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.